Ha? Ayan na, ah, nagpandiyan nila. Dito sa Good Morning Kuya, dito sa Singapore. Kasama po natin yes. ang uh, one and only, of course. Oh, so, Rico wow. Houston. Nice Hello, Ellen. How are you? Hi, Angela. Hello. Nako, so nice it's so you. great to be here. In Good Morning Kuya. Oh, Nakuha, I always yes. watch us on TV. Wow. Ngayon, nandito na ako. Guest na ako. So, show me, uh, so nice Kuya, dahil ng rason. Sa so, Friday so, na, kilala kay Rico. Mm -hmm. Siya yung unang uh, pumutok sa broadcast scene sa Manila. Mm -hmm. wow. Tapos later on, eh, siya po ay... Uh, eventually. Uh, eventually, pumunta sa Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And then sa... Ngayon. Ngayon, eh, nasa Singapore. Singapore. So, one of the first... Filipino. Yes. Well, I've known Erin for a long time. Alam niyo yung aking history. <laughs> Although he belongs to the other school. I know. Don't worry. Atene and Lasal love each other love outside each other. of the basketball uh, court. Of course. Diba? And it's in broadcast. It's a different story. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, How did, kasi hindi naman journalism ang kinuha mo sa mm -hmm. Lasal, di ba? Well, I took up uh, two degrees. Okay. No? I took, originally, I took up communication arts. And then my, uh -huh. my dad, because I really wanted to become a uh, journalist ever since I was maybe 13 or 14 yes. years mm -hmm. old. Yes. Because my mom, my late mom would always be watching the news. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I want to be that guy in front of the camera reporting, yes. you know, uh, developments as it happens. Uh -huh. Tapos ang nangyari dyan, sinabi ng daddy ko, Nako, Rico, walang pera dyan sa journalism. Wala dyan, walang pera dyan sa pagre-report mo. Why not just join a multinational company, company. or a local conglomerate? And earn lots of money. And earn lots of money. <laughs> Sinabi ko, sige dad, compromise tayo. Com arts tsaka business. Uh -huh. Di ba? Kung hindi ako magsasucceed as a journalist, Yeah, pwede na ako maging businessman. Yeah. Baka pwede ako maging staff broker. Plan B yan, Plan Angela. B. So right after uh, university at De La Salle, I applied for uh, GMA News and mm -hmm. Public Affairs. Mm -hmm. Of course, marami ng mga veterano doon, no? Mm -hmm. Of course. Ako, baguhan, bagito. Uh -huh. So I tried, but after two or three years, talagang walang opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, in, two sa in the year 1991, mm -hmm. Sinabi sa akin nung aking mentor, si Attorney Dom Puno. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, ano? yes. yes. Uh, he, I was his segment producer at Viewpoint. Rico, pwede kang maging business reporter. Bakit hindi ka mag-apply? Mm -hmm. And at that time, wala namang gustong makinig at manood ng, ng business, business and financial yes. news, di ba? Yes, yes, Lahat yes, doon. Yes. Ah, kung gusto mo, maging beat reporter sa Krame, Krame. di ba? Sa Malacanang, mm -hmm. di ba? Kung saan-saan, kung where you, be where you will become yes. popular. Yes. So I said, I want to become a business reporter. Oh, meron tayong position para dyan. So oh. that's where I made a name for myself uh -huh. in business and financial news. Yes. Tapos si Attorney Don Puno had a morning show called Business Today with yes. Vicky Morales. Uh -huh. Yes. Doon kami sumabak sa business news. But I believe before, uh, you started off as a production assistant. Yes, with Uncle Bob's Lucky Seven Club. <laughs> That's far behind. <laughs> oh. That's far behind. I graduated kasi in 1988. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I started out. That was my entry point into uh, the media. GMA news. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And to, into the GMA family. And then the rest is history. And then the rest is history. Tapos... In 1995, during the papal visit yes. of Pope John Paul II, yes. his first visit, um, yung kaibigan ko sinabi niya, Uy, Rico, may opening sa business division ng NBC News. They're mm -hmm. opening up okay. in Hong Kong. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And then I said, well, let me try out. So I flew to Hong Kong. I was interviewed. Tapos, uh, kinuha nila ako. I said, in. bakit ako? Uh -huh. Eh kasi, Rico, you have a knowledge of business and financial news in the region. Mm -hmm. And you are from... Asia. Mm -hmm. oh, it's easy to import talents from the UK, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from the US. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ilalagay mo na lang dito sila sa, sa Asia. Pero iba yung Asian perspective. Iba yung Asian yeah. perspective. So, I was with CNBC for seven years. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then, I got a call from BBC World News. Sinabi ko sa kanila, oh, wow. are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was really in, on pins and needles na talaga ba ang gusto niyo ako? Sabi, yes, because of your knowledge yeah. and your presentation mm -hmm. skills. So, I've been with them now for the past 15 uh -huh. years. And I'm loving every minute. Uh -huh. But I read about you that you have interviewed several people already, including uh, former pres U.S. President Bill Clinton, yes. Warren Buffet. Yes. Um, I was wondering, how was the interview process? Oh, And naku, kailangan experience. talaga. Kailangan talaga preparation. <laughs> preparation. No? And of course, mga celebrities. Uh -huh. yes, di ba? Yes. I've interviewed a lot of NBA players yes. as well. So, you really have to prepare. Mm -hmm, you know, you mm -hmm, can't mm -hmm. get into an interview mm -hmm. just uh, with 
notes mm -hmm. or questions from the you. segment producer. Oh, oh. <laughs> diba? Ilang yeah. yung background ka rin eh. Yung background ka rin. Mahirap. Oh. <laughs> you have to research on your own. Wala pang YouTube noon. Wala pang social media. So talagang you really have to research and ask and talk to people who are knowledgeable about these leaders. And you know, at that time, Jario lang. Yes, yes, yes. Tabloids, broadsheets. You just have to read, read, read. Just have to keep on reading. And that's what I did even when I was a little boy. I would always read the papers. Not only the front page, not only the top half of the of the of the newspaper, but from beginning until end. Yes, because you have to have a not only a local perspective but a global perspective, perspective. of all issues. Mm -hmm. I even read the opinion page eh, para may yeah. iba mga angulo sa uh -huh. issue. And if you mm -hmm. can go back, even the history of the issue. The history uh -huh. of the issue. Uh -huh. Di ba? Kasi kailangan meron kang stock knowledge. Oh. Exactly. Hindi lang pwede, oh, nako, anong susunod uh, kung tatanong, hindi ba? Yeah. <laughs> ano yung susunod? You cannot rely on the prompter. You can't rely on the prompter. You can't uh -huh. rely on your notes. You really That's have true. to, you know, everything's on the fly. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. everything has to be uh, spontaneous. So, what are your hours like uh, here working for BBC? Well, as we speak, I should be on air on BBC World News. Oh. <laughs> just, I was just talking to uh, Kuna Daniel earlier yeah. and he wakes up at 3.30. Yes. I'm sorry, Kuna Daniel, I wake up at 3 a.m. Ah. I wake up 30 minutes uh -huh. earlier than you. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I have to be in the newsroom at 4 in the morning because we have to prepare the news. Mm -hmm. yes. I have to prep for my interviews, yes. which are both business and general mm -hmm. news. Yes. And the first program goes on air at 6.00. On Newsday, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then right after Newsday, Asia Business Report. Yes. From 6:30 to 6:45. Then I have a, like a 10-minute break. I go back on air at the top of the hour for Newsday. So that goes on. It's a cycle for like four hours. Four hours. Four wow. hours. And then right after that, I end at about 10:30. I have a break, mm -hmm. and then I do BBC Radio. Mm. Oh, okay. yes, BBC Radio. BBC man. <laughs> <laughs> after radio. Then I have to do another, uh, I have to do like a, a two to three minute uh, segment yes. on BBC World News Business. Okay. So I start my day, I wake up at three, three. I end my day at about three. In the, in the afternoon. afternoon. So it's a 12 hour day. Mm. Yes, yes. But yes. I'm still, you know, always <laughs> excited and rejuvenated. Uh -huh. <laughs> still want to do a lot of things. And yes. Mm -hmm. Because of all these, how do you keep a normal life? Yeah. I mean, your feet, feet on the ground, because I can tell them. Uh, when you're in Manila, I bump into you in a grocery. <laughs> uh, it was a few years ago. Yes. Buying Well, you know what? I mean, we are blessed mm -hmm. to be where we are mm -hmm. as uh, co-hosts and, and anchors of television programs. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in the end, we're just normal, normal people. people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just normal people. And these things should never really get into our heads. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, being in front of, of the camera. And being so-called like they call now even news anchors celebrities, mm -hmm. celebrities. you know, um, we should just always keep our feet on the ground. I mean, I'm always being reminded by my wife mm -hmm. that you know, Rico, you know, everyone mm -hmm. is um, dispensable. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yes. And you always have to do your job well yes. every show. Yes, you know, mm -hmm. of course. You're only as good as, as your, your last show. show. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Also, I know that. Oh, so oh. always keep it. Just always keep yourself grounded mm -hmm. and. Uh, and always live live a simple life. Mm, right? I, I never party. I, I can't party. I can't go out at night because I have, have to start to my day at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and then you have to and study. Is that uh, seven days a week or at least up to Friday of your weekend? Yes, it's you should have my weekend. So mm -hmm. at, what the beauty of uh, uh, finishing work early is that I still have time for my, uh, family, for my family, family, no? Family, your kid. Uh, my son, mm -hmm. Nico, is a basketball player. So he, after school, I bring him to training yes. from 6 to 8 in the evening. Wow. Yes. On weekends, he also trains. Parental so I'm like duties. The, I'm like the stage <laughs> father, you know, always watching. When I meet your duties. son, I can tell him, your father buys your diaper. <laughs> 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 so but um, I was wondering what advice or message can you give to those who aspiring. are also aspiring? Like, well, oh. I would always uh, tell aspiring journalists that uh, you just really have to work hard mm -hmm. you know and you have to keep on reading yes. you know you have to yes. keep on reading just don't read especially now fake news no? yeah. just don't keep yeah, yeah. on sharing that's a nice question yeah, yeah, yeah. social media uh -huh. just don't keep on sharing you always have to have three or four sources, sources. before yes. you share. Mm -hmm. And the so main validate. source of news is bbcnews.com. BBC <laughs> oh. For and credible, <laughs> fair. You know? Okay, so news. how long are you still planning to work for, for uh, here in Singapore? Do you have plans to move back to the Philippines? No, not yet. I, I mean, I love what I'm doing. Okay. You know, uh, I've been with the BBC now for 15 years. 
and counting. Mm -hmm. I love what I'm doing. Whenever I sit in front of the, the anchors, I mean, whenever I sit in front of the camera, uh -huh. my anchor's chair, yes. and I'm broadcasting to more than 400 million yes. uh, people Viewers, around the world. Yeah. You know, I'm proud. It's like, I'm proud of you as well. And we are very proud of you as well. I'm proud. I'm really proud. But at least I get to do other things. Mm -hmm. You know, like for example, in November, I did a dream job that I did, apart from just the anchoring and reporting for the Philippine Flag Society. It was a dream job that I did, apart from just anchoring and reporting. I filmed a BBC Earth documentary with a with a wildlife presenter, Mike Dilger, and it will the the two part documentary on the Philippines called Island Treasures will be broadcast this coming April, seven and fourteen. So we're really excited about that. We went to Palawan, we went to Sagada, different different Rico Hiso. I know hiking. I never even thought that I would be hiking, going up and down the mountains. Your next life, maybe, maybe swimming, maybe, maybe. I love it. I really, truly enjoyed myself doing this and filming this documentary. Iti magandang tanong. Didn't BBC London ever? Entertain the ideas of bringing you over to London. Yes, uh, there was always talk about that uh, early in my uh, broadcasting career. But of course, uh, at that time, my mother and my dad were getting old. Like my dad is turning 90 years old wow. this coming March. Wow! Hi, dad. Oh, oh, hi, dad. Dad. Oh, my dh. He's turning 90 years old, Jose Hison, uh, yes. on March 19. Mm -hmm. My goodness, he's 90 years old. <laughs> and then my mom passed away uh, several years ago. Yes. She was 84 years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. But at that time, they were getting old, yeah. and at least I had the best of both worlds. Yes. Yeah. In Singapore, my programs, uh, Asia Business Report and Newsday, were broadcasting yes. to a global audience. I said, why? Why, why move to London? Why uh, get that uh, opportunity when I can, I'm here in Singapore, which is a perfect, perfect place. Having the time of your life. <laughs> having time of my life. That's right, Angela. And then, you know, I'm just three hours and a half away yeah. uh, from Manila. Yeah. I can go to Manila for a yes. weekend visit, then Madeline. come back, Madeline. and I still can go. No on jet my, lag. No oh. jet lag. No <laughs> jet lag. of Manila, how often do you visit Philippines? Well, I'll be there uh, next week. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Uh, I'm wow. doing some. To continue the documentary. Well, no, uh, basically to promote the uh -huh. documentary, Philippines uh -huh. uh, Islands Treasures. So we're there on on. Marketing trips to promote yes. both uh, with our sponsors yes. and with the local media. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Of course, yeah. of course to also promote this this documentary, which will be is it, which is really picked off now my bucket list. Something is just uh, once in a lifetime experience. For me. When when, okay. when are the days or that dates you're that show. you're going to? Well, show. tentatively, uh -huh. uh, I'm here with my senior publicist Ginny, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, she says it will be sometime in April. April. But so far, it's been. Uh, it's been set for I uh, for April seven and April fourteen, mm -hmm. April seven and fourteen. But that could still change. Uh -huh. So you could uh, well, I'll, I'll post it. Also, we'll be posting it on the website, mm -hmm. on the BBC mm -hmm. News mm -hmm. website, and on social on my social media mm -hmm. accounts mm -hmm. when That's it will be airing. So okay, maybe last messages to the up and coming Filipinos who want to follow the <laughs> footsteps <laughs> of Rico Hison. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think the most important thing is that you really have to know the news. Mm -hmm. You have to know the news mm -hmm. inside out. Mm -hmm. Just keep on writing. And of course, the most important thing when you're a reporter is the the skill of yes. writing. writing. Right? Of course. It's about storytelling. Of course. Uh -huh. Telling story people telling. what's happening on mm -hmm. the ground. Mm -hmm. Do you ever sensationalize the yeah. news? Of Only course. tell uh, your viewers the facts. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. and, then, and of course, you have to persevere. I had to persevere. Uh -huh. Because sometimes there will be a lot of uh, ups challenges. and downs. Yeah. A lot challenges. of challenges. Uh -huh. People knocking you down. Uh -huh. A lot of intrigue. <laughs> <you know? laughs> <Meron yan. laughs> persevere. If you know what, what you're you made really of, if you know, what, and, and you know what you want, mm -hmm. just uh, keep on fighting. fighting. Mm -hmm. and Don't work give up. And never give up. That's mm -hmm. right. Actually. Never give up. Never okay. give up. Maraming Good salamat, Rico. We're proud of you. Thank you. We're proud to be here. Good morning, Kuya. Maraming salamat for the opportunity. And this beautiful set that you have in Singapore. Look at that wonderful skyline. I know. And we hope to see more of you. Yes, thank you so much for having me. We'll be watching you. We'll be watching you. This is Rico. He's on reporting for BBC World News on Good Morning, Kuya. Good morning, Kuya.